So I get a text from Steven, Crypto Karaoke. Whoa, more dips and no chips. I knew immediately what he's talking about. Remember when the crypto market cap was like $3 trillion? And it's now 1.229. In your life, there's now heartache and pain. You don't know if you could face the crypto market again. It's gone down so far to chase these lonely coins. We want to know what licking ice cream is. And we want J Snip to show me. Listen, if I or Woo Woo Dude came out here one more time and said, you know, when these things are up and J Snip's licking his ice cream and he's telling you guys he's licking some ice cream, he's getting a helicopter, he's uh, da da da, you should probably lick some ice cream. Do you know tre trending Coinbase? I mean, uh, excuse me, Coin Market Cap. Terra USD, state, alleged stable coin with this company, Terra. 97% down Terra is. Terra USD, which again, supposed to be a stable coin, is down 66. I'm sorry, how many sixes? 66.61%. 66. Six, 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 one. Okay. Why is Terra USD down but something like Binance USD coin stable as can be uh, USD coin stable as can be 48 billion dollars there Binance USD 17 billion there as far as how many coins they have Tether even tether but however let's see how stable that thing was because I do see some uh, some movement there a little little dippity dip on tether let's take a look that's one day tether uh, what do we get down to nine I mean it looks like a huge drop but is it really 99 cents 99.3 now granted you could say well that's about a 1% drop why J snip why is any stable coin in dropping at all it should literally be this 99.99999998 you know in the volume in tether 120 billion on average 120 billion dollars of tether essentially moving around in the crypto space this is reported by exchanges now if i send you a tether or you send me one that is logged on the blockchain forever if an exchange has users and they're all trading in and out of coins and markets dumping I got that does not get logged on the blockchain it stays local to the exchange within their own accounting system and then when you the user go okay I want to go ahead and pull that off of there and bring it to my wallet then it is added to the blockchain because an actual transaction takes place in the blockchain for them to give you the coins but in the meantime, they don't need to clutter up the blockchains with all these trades. Bitcoin to this coin, that coin to that coin, Tether to this coin. No exchange needs to do this because they're not leaving the exchange. It would take time. It would take resources. It just doesn't make sense. So this is why all the, all exchanges do this, including your stock market. If you're playing the Forex market or the stock market on, you know, uh, you know TD Ameritrade, they're not going and doing these things typically until you pull your money out or pull the you know your shares out but how do you pull your shares out yeah you don't really pull them out do you someone has to, is the, always the custodian of the shares and that's where the biggest scam on the face of the earth is but well that's not that's not the it's not the purpose of this video <clears throat> so what events do we have today <clears throat> that are fud well let me let me back up to the stablecoin Tether claims they backed their 
Bitcoin by dollars early on when they had like 2 billion tether. There's again, there's 83 billion tether out there right now. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they added 3 more billion. Sorry about that. Since like a day or two ago. There it is. 86.7 billion. Sorry about that. My mistake. I'm sure they just found 3 billion in assets somehow and got them and backed that 83 billion. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. 86 billion. They got caught, had to pay a fine that when they said they had this particular amount of money way back when, they didn't. So the Southern District of New York, you know who she is, Letitia, whatever, who hates Trump. Oh, uh, yeah, they paid a little fine, a little tiny fine. But since then, back when everyone was squabbling about like this $500 million thing they said they had, it's now $86 billion of tether floating around. So, <clears throat> they've now state, well, we've, we've kind of got out of, we have some dollar assets, but we've gone into other assets, you know, other types of assets that back our stable coin. And it, the rumor was, yeah, they, they, they're invested in Evergreen, Evergrande or whatever the hell it was in China, the big property bust, $300 billion property thing. Don't know if that's true, but they've diversified to keep this thing a dollar somehow. So my question would be, if the stock market's dumping and the ho and housing starts dumping and everything starts dumping, which it will, um, many things already are, then that means some of their assets for sure are dumping. Which would also mean they don't have the backing of $86 billion. But we already knew that anyways. So let's go to Terra. Terra. Terra, Terra, thirty cents is what your stable coin is worth. If you got out the other day, when I said to do it, I said, guys, it's do or die day. I walked into a, my maybe future son-in-law, <laughs> you know, daughter's boyfriend, grandparents' house. I see the shit storm bathroom I saw in the dream with the toilet and the bath and the shower combined like together. There was a wall slightly separating them, but not all the way. Never seen anything like this in my life except in my dream. My dream didn't have the wall, but it was identical for all intents and purposes other than that. And I go, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I think spirit is telling me, get ready for the shit storm just like the shit storm you experienced in your dream that you woke up and was like damn it spirit did you have to show me that that was terrible i was horrible oh my god i'm waking up emotional about it like i was embarrassed and i'm like oh my god but i'm going well no 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 thank you spirit thank you boy did you get the point across and i go yeah okay i get it and remember the next part of the dream skyrocket 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 is what I think it meant when we filled up the two tanks of the airplane, my wife and I, to the very, very top. Mine spilled over a bit. Hers was very tippy top right there. She put the cap on, perfect. Me, spilled out. Of course, I knew mine was full too because it spilled out, turn on. The other day, I'm flying, landing the helicopter. It has two tanks, I'm not even thinking about it. I fill up the one side. It did splash out a little bit. And then I go to the right side thinking, oh, I've got, it'll hand take the rest because it's the bigger tank. And it doesn't, so it really spilled over. And I go, oh boy. That's kind of the other part of the dream. But that was one that we were making sure that plane was full, 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 full. So that whenever we boarded it to go home, it's going to go high and far. That was my interpretation. I told Steven, I said, you can't even sing the old Theta song. Remember he used to do Theta? And I'd play it on here in my other channel before it got terminated. And then like the next day, oh my God, Theta's up 12%. And then I'd call him up again. It, like it wasn't doing much. I, I, he sang it again and went up again. <laughs> I know it was a pure coincidence, but, but you know, it was funny. So I go, dude, I don't even think you singing the Theta song could bring it back right now. Not yet. It's not done. So again, Tara. 35 cents it's supposed to be a stable coin one to one let's say you sold a hundred thousand dollars in crypto the other day when i gave the call get the f out of the market 
which was an epic call, by the way, and I give all that inf that credit to Spirit. It's not me. My ego would love to say it's me. It, w it would. I told you guys. I knew this. I, I'm so I'm so smart. No. Nope. Credit goes to Spirit. But the mouthpiece was mine that delivered this to you, and I was happy to do so. And of course, I shared this with my Patreon members. Um. And I'm I'm just sitting here thinking. You know how how powerful you know knowledge is power. How powerful this information is. Market's not moving. Market's not moving. Joe, it's been a little slow on Patreon. I know, but I'm not going to post anything until Spirit gives me something or we will do calls with something, you know, because he'll get something sometimes too. Um, I'm not going to post just to post. I'm here to make a move and say, hey, it's time to make a move. And when that happens, it could be life changing. And I got the intel. I posted the intel. And we waited, waited a little bit, waited a little bit. And I said, you know, I think the way this is going to go, maybe March we have a nice little run up. April we have this devastating crash, and then we go on the recovery mode and it goes way up. I realize we're out of April, but it's only the next month plus 11 days. You know what I mean? And you know how it is with the crypto market. And I did not get that information from Spirit. That was me just a gut thing going, you know, I think if I'm seeing, you know, reading the tea leaves myself, right, you know. Not necessarily, but I think March is going to go this way and then April. And I've said this. I said it on YouTube. I said it in Patreon. Guys, this is what people probably must me. Uh, you know, I think this might be how it goes. April came. Well, it's still kind of flat. Nothing really happened. But we did have a run up in March. When I got this shitstorm dream on March 8th, I posted it. And then from March to early April or maybe about a month later or whatever it was, which is still in April, um... We had a nice run up. It was, you know, again, some coins were 30 something percent, some were 26 percent up. I think Bitcoin was one of the ones that was up 26 percent. Like, it was a nice little run up. Wasn't the greatest. We didn't go back to the all time highs. And I go, you know, my airplane dream, we did take off first, and the airplane went up and back down, you know? I'm going, hmm. Okay. I think that's what that means, but I don't know how high we're going to go in the beginning. I thought maybe we could go back to the all time highs, at least. You know, I, I didn't know. But I said, what I do know is the shitstorm that comes after is going to be horrible. So even if we sell now, and I said this a few times on Patreon prior to the other day when I sold, I said, look, even if we sell right now on the price of such and such, which was better than the price when I actually sold a few days, you know, several days ago. Um, I'm saying because of the numbers I got in my dream, $408 Ethereum, 21 cent XRP, and then it went to 20 cents at the end of the dream. I go... Even if you sell today, you took 10% out of your bag and just held on to that. You realize if it hits those numbers, and I'm telling you it's probably going to because my dreams have been right so far, you could get back enough crypto with your 10% selling right now to buy the whole bag you have saved again with just the 10% money because you're storing the money now at today's price in a stable coin. And then when this dump happens, you buy it all back, but you're buying it back for pennies on the dollar. So you're going to buy so much back for that little 10% you took out, taking a chance. You're going to double your, again, roughly double your bag. Imagine that. So, you know, maybe it's 90% of, of the 100% of doubling. You know what I mean? It's, it's close. And uh, that's a general sp st statement because I don't know that every single coin is going to go down 90% exactly. Maybe one's 80, one's 75, one's 95, you know. Just a kind of a general statement. But Terra does not have a pegged coin. Their coin pegged to the dollar or a dollar or dollar reserves, which you must have if you're going to peg it to there. So if you have uh, 15 billion dollars worth of coins there should be 15 as i explained with tether there should be 15 billion real dollars in a storage bank financial institution somewhere that's like escrow kind of thing you don't you can't touch it or you can pull a tether and go yeah we kind of diversified out of that we got into these other assets and 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 white dove and many others have said 
when Tether goes, the market is going to be taken down with it. Because, and at the time that she said this, by the way, Tether wasn't the biggest trading pair out there. It was still Bitcoin against other things, right? And she's saying when that comes, it's going to, it's going to negatively affect the whole market, but it will re we will recover after that when the dust settles. So imagine, I'm you know, just going to throw this out there. I didn't get this in the dream. I'm just thinking out loud. We have FUD today from, not imagine, we do. Coinbase has released a statement because of some news out right now that Coinbase, you know, when they they put out a um, uh, kind of a press release because they had to, they, uh, where's it at? Coinbase, that's it. <clears throat> Hidden away in Coinbase's global global's dis disappointing first quarter earnings report, where the U.S. largest cryptocurrency exchange reported a quarterly loss of $430 million and a 19% drop in monthly users, is an update on the risks of using Coinbase's service that may come as a surprise to its millions of users. Um, in the event the crypto exchange goes bankrupt, Coinbase says in the report, its users might lose all the cryptocurrency stored in their accounts too. So, actually, we don't need that. Uh, go back here. If you read the article from Fortune, it goes on to say, well, Thanks to the Security Exchange Commission's new regulations, and you know they're criminals, um, we have to report it as such. Do we think that a judge in their right mind would make us confiscate users' coins in a bankruptcy proceeding when it's their, you know, separated, uh, you know, uh, assets? Like, think about when MF Global went up, well, went up in smoke. And that CEO never got in trouble. He's hanging out with Obama in pictures, of course. Never got in trouble. They they mixed their funds with you know the customers. Gambled on Wall Street, lost the bet, lost all the people's funds. It's supposed to be a segregated account. Same with Coinbase. So he was saying in your segregated account, essentially. Do we think that a court would make us take all your stuff and then divvy it out, and you guys become the lowest level jabroni status on a bankruptcy proceeding, which is the last person to get the money of all we owe? You become unsecured creditors and all this crap. He goes, we, we seriously would doubt that a judge would rule that way. But because of the new SEC guidelines and regulations, we have to report it this way. That's what the CEO said. Now, you know, the plenty, there's plenty of deep state judges out there. In the SEC and them in uh, some of the regulators, uh, CFTC, which was initially run by Gary Gensler. And now I think in he in charge of the SEC, Gary Gensler, who also went and ran Hillary Clinton's campaign as the finance guy for her election. And we already we've always known he's a Gary. I used to always refer to him Gary the Turd Burglar Gensler. It was my nickname for for Gary. So he's out there with FUD today too. And. His FUD is about the stable coins and the crypto market, these exchanges. I think they're front running their customers. They're they're betting against their customers, not front running, but whatever, betting against their customers. You know, we think they're doing this. And the stable coins are a real problem. Even the exchange created stable coins because, you know, there's not real a real clear line of uh, regulation for them. They're trying to bypass certain regulations like know your customer and AML rules that we have in place and, you know, other countries have in place because they're not using real dollars. They're using a dollar equivalent and that's you know we have a problem with that because uh it could lead to this and oh and, you know terror usd today crash he meant i think he mentioned that and you know again fud 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 bring the fud so we have two fud events that would lead the average person to go oh my god nothing's safe i can't even put my money to stable coin they're not safe well, I'll put it. In, I'll just. I'll leave my cash in, in in Coinbase. I'll actually sell the stable coin USDC into the cash account on Coinbase. Well, what's this article? I can't do that either. They might go bankrupt. They're down four hundred eighty million dollars this quarter. Oh my God! 
they may take my money. I, I'll have to cash it in and then withdraw it. But then if the crypto market, I want to go buy because it's, it hit the floor, I'm going to have to then wire it back in. That's going to take at least a day or two. And then do the purchase. And then hopefully they don't go bankrupt in that time. And then pull my coins off. Oh my God, nothing's safe. This is a coordinated attack against the crypto market users, which are fear-based humans who can't understand what's happening, 99.99999% of them, and the elite know this, and they use this against you every single time. And there's one or two of us out there, a few of us, including you guys, some of you, there's a few, right? that know this game and are saying hey I sold the other day when Jay Snip told me to of course I didn't tell you to sell I just say I'm selling here's what I'm doing it's time to make a decision tonight and guess what I just made the decision and here's why here's my thoughts and I had this like fucking you know excuse me freaking five part essay of, you know separate my paragraphs and like this big speed, you know, guys. Here's where my mind's at. This is what, what this is what I'm thinking of right now. Okay, like my dream. I think I'm pretty sure it meant this. That I walked into the bathroom the other day in real life, and I'm going, guys. I think this is their sign telling me get ready. Not that we're gonna go up now. I go, but that could be a possibility. Maybe they're showing me to go. I go, but if that's the case, why do they take me right to the bathroom scene? You know, and I go, well, I, anyways, it's enough for me to, to to sell. Time to sell. I'm selling, and I did. And if I got back in the market right now, I would have pretty significant amount more crypto back than, than what I sold. And a lot of people look at terms of your val value of your portfolio, not the uh, amount of crypto you have. You sometimes, many times, need to look at the value of, of how many, not the value of how many crypto you have. Because when it goes back up to the prices you last remembered, oh, my portfolio was up twice, 200%. Or, you know, 100%, whatever. Well, how many crypto coins of each of those did you have in your possession? What I'm saying is, your portfolio might be down, but because you did this epic trade with me, you just grabbed a whole bunch more coins back. So yeah, you're still down at the level it was at, but you just used that money, that dry powder, so to speak, on the side, and just bought all those coins you sold back. Well, I'm just giving the example. I didn't buy back today. I'm not ready to buy back yet. But you bought back, let's just say today, and oh my God, Joe, I sold Theta and I sold Digibyte and I sold XRP. And from the price that we sold at, um, some of them I got 50% back and some I've got nearly 100% back just from, just from the other day. So if you had 10,000 XRP, you got 15,000 XRP. You had uh, 20,000 Theta. Again, it's, you know, let's look at Theta. Theta, why am I typing in Theta? Type in trading view. Make it quicker to look at. Theta, $1.42, okay? It was just two, f I mean, look at this, $4.00. Not even a month ago. Four dollars. Not even a month ago. But let's just say, hey, it's three dollars or two fifty, like it was the other day, right? Two fifty down to a dollar forty. That's a dollar ten difference. So if you're selling at two fifty and now buying at a dollar forty, and again, look how low it got, dollar twenty five. Here's the, the, if you can even see that wick, here it is. It got down to $1.25. $1.25 plus $1.25 is $2.50 right here. Here it is, there's two sixty. And this is the time frame I'm telling everybody, you know, guys, it's, I think it's decision time. I think it's decision time, and as a matter of fact, I'll tell you the exact day that I posted that. Not to mention days before that, I had already said, you know, we may it, it's about time we need to start considering at least selling 10% and take a chance on this. And I gave them the reason why. And 
then it was a few days later I go okay I, it's decision time I just walked in the you know again the bathroom thing is just I just can't get it out of my mind I, I just you know I, we, I'm gonna have to do something I, I'm doing it right now um, decision time for crypto hold or sell posted May 3rd 2022 so let's go back to the chart May 3rd 2022 oh, this one May 3rd if you would have sold your theta I'm just again just as, as an example some of your theta right in here it was 238 down to 220 no let me let me expand that a bit so we can get a better look at that right in here low 226 high 240 so somewhere in between they're called 230 right just be fair call it 230 here's, here's my you know and I'm on the daily so I did post this at like five something um, so we'll do the one hour Excuse me. One hour. Two hour. One hour. What's going on? Refresh. Leave page. Two hour. I took the two hour. We'll look at the two hour. Or will we not? There it is. Dollar twenty four. Uh, again, what did I say was the second? At 2.30. So here's a second to the third. It was at five something. Five, six, oh, 1700 hours. Somewhere between here, the price is again, 2.32. That's a perfect statement. $2.32. Again, this thing dropped down to $1.25, 24. Current price, $1.50, whatever. You know what I mean? The drop, even to this price right here, is 36% drop. If you caught the knife, the falling knife, so to speak, 45-46% drop right there. But again, somewhere in here, call it call it 40%, right? Again, knowledge is power. And I'm not telling you, oh, get rid right now. I'm not saying that either. I'm just saying if you did. Rather than hodl your effing coins, I hope Bix Weir is listening to me. You could have gained a bunch back days later. This is incredible information Spirit is sharing with me with the understanding because I, whenever I ask, my intention is not Spirit make me rich, Spirit give this for me. It's Spirit. Can you give me anything on the crypto market, please? I'd like to share some information with my Patreon members and, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then sometimes, you know, don't, I don't always get anything because they may not have anything to show me yet. But I do, and boom, I post it. It's not just for me. Matter of fact, it's mostly for everybody else now. My house is paid off. My cars are paid off. My everything's paid off. Effing helicopter, for God's sake. I still can't believe I own that damn thing. Helicopter, Tesla, truck, wife's van, mom's car. The RV I got, you know, like, I was licking, 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 licking my ice cream when prices were good. But we need these big giant numbers up here. Well, then you're going to hodl for a long time until they finally hit. But if this thing's up 300%, that one's up 200 Lick, 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 lick. Maybe it's only up 50%. That's all you need for something. You you made a trade and go, you know what? This is for my helicopter. I'm, I put a bunch of money into Shiba and moved other coins around to put into Shiba. Oh my God, Spirit, thank you. Went up 100%, not 50. Now the 50%, I could buy the helicopter. I still got 50% to play with. And I chased the damn market down and just threw it all back into Shiba, getting a whole bunch of my coins back. Now, I didn't quite get the helicopter for free, per se, you could say. But, I mean, you, it depends on how you look at it, really. I mean, shit. Something went up 100%. I only needed 50% of the profit to pay for it. You know, but yeah, you got to sell some of the coins you had to do that, right? But then I was buying them all back. I didn't get them all back, but I bought some back. Yeah, a good chunk of them back. So I made a move. Lick my ice cream. Um, so now let's go the other way, all right? Theta. And again, you're down right around here. 
and it goes back up to your 230 something mark. From that move, 230 is a 64% increase. Well, how's that, Joe? Wait a minute. How the hell does that happen? How could it go from, you know, 230 to, uh, you know, over here, which is the May 2nd day over here? 230 down there was only, you know, like, let's watch the drop again, right? 66% up. Forty percent down. Well, how 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 could it go up higher than it goes down the same distance on there, Joe? Because when things fall to go back up, it's always harder to go back up to the price where you were at. But the math is the math because when you're taking a a number, it's just math, and you are going down. Whatever that drop is, it's, it's substantial, but it doesn't have to be as much to still be substantial because once the new number comes in and it's lower. To apply the same math back, for example, 50%. If something's a dollar and it drops down 50%, it's now 50 cents. So let's say theta's a dollar, it drops 50%, bloody red market, oh my God, it's down 50%. It's now worth 50 cents. And I'm a little woo woo's going on, 50 cents. Pay attention. I may have just prophetically given out a, a price theta may be going to. I'm just saying, but 50 cents, 50% 50 drop from a dollar. If theta goes back up from 50 cents, goes up 50%, it doesn't go to a dollar. It only goes to 75 cents because you have the new low number times the multiplier. 50% is 75 cents. So you need to go back 100% just to get back to where you were. So it's always harder going back up. But if you know these coins are going to go back up, and we do, and they're going to hit these numbers we've already seen, and they typically will, that's what the, the history shows us, that's why the number's huge. That's why 68% instead of 40% on the way back up on that this rough example here. So, again, you've got more coins. Follow me. You've got more coins now right here because you just bought back at a dollar. What did I say? Dollar forty or something? Dollar forty. And then it goes back to the two thirty. So you got I'm gonna use Bix, I love Bix. You got Bix where the hodler who did nothing, told those people to do nothing, is to just hodl, guys, hodl. And watch the same exact number of theta. We'll use the same example. Ten thousand theta, we'll just say, uh, just to make this up. And ten thousand times again maybe easy math two dollars is twenty thousand dollars right ten thousand theta two dollars each twenty thousand dollars today happens you still have ten thousand theta it's now worth and again i used the two dollar example make math easy it's a dollar fifty uh you're two thousand times one five Two dollars times ten, well, we're talking ten thousand coins. So ten thousand, you're talking fifteen thousand dollars at a dollar fifty. So from if theta was two dollars and dropped down to a dollar fifty, your twenty thousand dollars just became fifteen thousand dollars. But you still only have ten thousand coins, right? Because that's the math. Now, if you sold your ten thousand theta, you have twenty thousand dollars sitting here in a stable coin or whatever on the side this happens down we go down we go dollar fifty let's say again same math same numbers but you've got twenty thousand dollars oh my god i'm gonna go buy some more theta back plus extra so at a dollar fifty you have twenty thousand dollars times the 150 so that would be essentially $30,000 worth of theta as soon as it goes back to that price. So your 10,000 theta at a dollar, uh, let's see, so you have 20,000, yeah, so a dollar fifty, that's 
I'm just gonna do the math in my head. Twenty thousand dollars that you had on the side that you're now buying back at a dollar fifty. You're getting essentially more theta back. I can't even think of the number right now. So, bottom line is, <clears throat> let's see here. Let me pause. Okay, the quick math was you your 10,000 theta that you had turns into 13,333 theta at $1.50. With again, it was a $2, now it's $1.50 that move. This move was bigger than that because it was $2.30 down to $1.25 again if you went really caught the bottom or $1.40. So, it would be even more. You might have had 15,000 theta by the time that was this one move happened. You know, 14, 15,000 theta instead of your initial 10,000. And how important <clears throat> is a move like that? Like, what could that mean in the future? Well, I'll do some math here. You already know if you had 10,000 theta and Michelle White Dove's numbers hit, which I do think they will hit, and minimal $1,000. That's $10 million. Same math. You now have fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars uh, coins, fourteen or fifteen thousand coins, and the thousand dollar hits price. That ten million becomes fourteen to fifteen million. This is one coin, one move. And I've gotten many prices of different coins, including Theta and uh, other things. So we still haven't seen XRP at 20, 21 cents. And that was the one I haven't hit yet in my dream numbers. My initial dream number was 27 from a long time ago. And then I got the new update information in January, which I've told on my Patreon. Here's the numbers I got, guys. Mainly Ethereum and, and XRP. I, I saw the numbers. I mean, just you can't even reinterpret this any other way. It's so easy. I mean, you can't think it's something else. So if those numbers are coming, and what did XRP get down to today? It's currently 44. It got down to 40 cents. 40 cents. Just chop 50% off. We're at 20. We are literally, if this market, essentially where the prices are right now, look at everything where they kind of are now, and you can go, oh, okay, this this might be, uh, you know, where they could end up, but not necessarily because here's the thing. Again, that's just, that's just a general statement because I didn't get all the coins, so I'm going, well, if that coin's this low and that coin's this low, then what's these other coins? Same kind of percentage, and trying to figure out what other coins might be worth. So, ETH right now. Ethereum is twenty two hundred dollars. It's only down three percent right now. Um, let's see what it got down to though, because if this got down to forty, which it did, forty cents, XRP, we can look at this together. And Ethereum also spiked down, just like the rest of the market, down to twenty one hundred. Let's say, if you chop that in half, that's a thousand fifty or so, right? But I saw 408 Ethereum. John Kim, Litecoin John Kim, gave this information to me in my dream. And he gave me XRP at 21 cents. I went to buy some and I was about to pull the trigger. I decided not to because I go, I don't know if I have enough money in the bank account to do that. I better look at my freaking bank account before I do something like this. And I go, oh my God, it's down another penny. It's 20 cents now. Holy shit. I need to do this right now. Like, where's my stupid phone? Like, I, I gotta get log in and check my bank account. And then I woke up. So, XRP only has to drop fifty percent from that 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 low here. Uh, and and this is I'm looking at Ethereum right now. Ethereum drops fifty percent. It's still only you know thousand dollars basically. It needs to drop another fifty percent after that. Or essentially, I guess what 75% from here to hit those numbers there's 400 
again the low was right there we go down to 400 408 80 percent we would need an 80 percent drop so close to 75 80 percent drop in ethereum for my numbers to hit but we only need a 40 percent drop Oops, we only need a 40, oh, it's still highlighted. We only need a 40% drop, 50%, excuse me, to hit my dream number of that, of uh, XRP. So, as you've seen lately, you know, when all the other coins were dumping pretty hard, XRP was kind of holding on. I mean, it was going down, but like, it's down 5%, such and such coins down 12. It's down 8%, such and such coins are down 18, 20%. You know what I mean? So we have to kind of take that into perspective. In other words, maybe, you know, to compare the other coins against XRP right now would be Theta at 75 cents. Okay? It would be Bitcoin at 15K. So it may be in between the two for all I know. I don't know. But if we use ETH as the guideline, and, and these coins have to drop 80% from here, like ETH does, then what are these coins going to be? 80% drops. Let's take a look. Bitcoin. And again, we're using the very bottom of the, the, the wick here. 80%. Seventy-five percent is down at seven thousand one hundred dollars. Does that sound like a possibility for Bitcoin in your mind? And those of you, oh, oh, no, no way, no way. Just FYI, you're the same ones that have probably been thinking my numbers have been poo-poo. And today, and yesterday's, and the day before's drops were that. Oh, that's the bomb. That's the bomb. That's the bomb. And then, no, no, here's the bottom. Oh, oh no, no. Actually, we're gonna keep going, right? Just be fair. But in all fairness, $7,000 Bitcoin, even me, I'd find that kind of hard to believe. Okay? So that would be the drop from here. Let's look at the let's look at the XRP drop, the 50% drop. Where would that take Bitcoin? 50%. Right here. 15K. Right? 15K. Roughly. 14 something, 15K. Uh, that could happen. Uh, my mind and body go, yeah, that's that's reasonable. That that could happen. So let's just assume, and again, I have to assume because I, I didn't get any kind of intel on the other coins. I asked John Kim in the dream, please give me, what about Theta? What about Theta? And he's trying to type it in. He doesn't know how to spell it right. He tries again, didn't spell it right. Tries a third time, didn't sp do it right. And that was the end of it. Can't, he goes, I, I, I can't get it. I can't get it. You know, he's kind of frustrated. I go, all right, th th fine, I don't care. I'm going to buy XRP right now. So just between me and you, and I'm just, for whatever reason, I'm just now thinking, like, coming to this conclusion going, oh, it just hit me, which is stupid because this should have hit me before. If in my dream I only got those two coins shown to me, XRP and ETH, and I physically said to myself in the dream, oh my God, 21 cent XRP, I have to go buy some right now. And my number in my dream was, I'm going to buy $30,000 right now. And I go, uh, you better check your bank account. And I go, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably should, huh? I don't know if I have 30000 in there. And then I look one more time. Oh, my God, it's 20 cents now. And now I'm, like, excited, like, oh, my God, it dropped another penny for me. I need to do this. Check my stupid bank. Hurry up. And that's what I was going to go do next, check my, my account balance. Wake up from the dream. So my little thing right now is is the ultimate move to buy as much XRP as one can buy if and when those prices come. And I do say if, because I, I I could be wrong. But boy, I don't know, I got spirit, I'm, you know, spirit here going, eh, we showed you this. The only thing I could say is, you know, let's, let's say we've bottomed. And all of a sudden, there, oh, there goes Bitcoin again, back up. Summertime, it's up, it's up, 50K, 50 sale, okay, here we go, big move. 
And then at the end of the year, we have one hellacious, unbelievable crash, and it brings the prices way back down to the numbers I'm giving you. My problem with that is I would think we would need to see new all-time highs. That's how the market... If we're going to start rallying now, we should be going back to all-time highs throughout a period of time, months. 70, 80K Bitcoin, 100K Bitcoin. Do the math on the other coins. And... Then we would see a drop like that, down to those kind of numbers. That's that's tough. So this is why I think now is the time for this. And my woo woo friend, the female, um, you know, all my patrons, you remember the, her old charts from back in the days that I posted and all that stuff. Which um, it was a few months ago. I think I posted another rehash of them it was the same charts in case the new people had never seen them like hey look here's some of the numbers she had posted in these three boxes of price targets she was seeing these coins and by the way for all intents and purposes box one and i think box two had been hit in the box three there was two or three that might have been hit and i go whoa <clears throat> <clears throat> but she saw this hellacious crash and then back up she didn't know she, and she i think she had some price targets for bitcoin at the time but it was just this hellacious crash, and then off to the races we went, and then new all-time highs were coming. And she had a side note under that crash. The best time to buy Digibyte and Theta. This would be the bottom of those who would get hit hard, apparently. Epic time to buy Digibyte <clears throat> and Theta. No prices, though. Didn't She didn't get a low price for that. So we didn't know well, how low is it going to be. We just didn't know. And the fact that I could not get the price in the dream, I was asking John Kim, what about Theta? What about Theta? I really wanted to know about Theta. He tried and tried and tried. And I go, why? Yeah, afterwards, I go, why didn't Spirit, why is Spirit not, why did they not let me see that? Like, I wonder why. <clears throat> and I thought, well, maybe, maybe Theta just gets, you know, thrown around like a rag doll so bad, up, down, you know, just, they just couldn't give it to me like it would be too sporadic or something. I'm going, yeah, but that's, you know, spirit, man, they, they give you pretty accurate numbers of stuff. But I, I don't know. I'm trying to come to a conclusion of what I might think, you know, and I just, I didn't know, you know, so I'm not sure why. But again, when I gave you the example a little while ago, 50 cents, I'm going, and I remember we would do it all. Spirit said they're going to get you all your, all your, you'll get all your crypto back, Joe, when you sold for your house, you know, and the price kept going up, and I told you, don't worry about it, you, you made your, you trade, you played, you planned your trade, you traded your plan, you have, pleased your wife, you know, <clears throat> you did the right thing, that, you know, Spirit's going to take care of you, <clears throat> they, they're telling me that you're going to get all your crypto back, now to be fair, between all the ice cream licking that I have done, and have been able to increase my bag some, um, but I never increased my theta back to where it was. I never tried to. I go, you know, I'm just going to play with these other coins now and just felt like I should. But I'm telling you right now, going, if that 50 cent theta thing happens, I was kind of joking about, we see that kind of number for theta, 50 cents. And considering, you know, I did sell the other day and I've got some cash on the side, I could easily get all my theta back that I sold to pay like most all my debt off practically <clears throat> it was mostly <clears throat> excuse me theta <clears throat> that i used <clears throat> the house the cars not so much the helicopter but uh that was the shiba move you know <clears throat> but i did move some coins around and stuff plus i used some bank account money on that one and you know but i did use quite a bit of crypto on that you know mostly crypto and uh just a tiny bit of bank account money <clears throat> that I was, you know, moving into Shiba. But once it did the 50%, I go, oh, wow. Then it was 100%. I could have easily put that little tiny bit of money back in the bank account. Still been fine. But I go, no, no, I'll just go ahead and trickle down, you know, f chase it down with the other 50% profit, you know, rather than take some of it and put it back in the bank account. You know, no, I, I'm, it wasn't that much anyways. Tiny amount. So I go, put it all back, you know, chase it down. So I did. <clears throat> but it, it was really... A huge point uh, amount of crypto that made allowed me to do this so here's where we are FUD from Gary Gensler the SEC FUD from the Coinbase release 
I mean, all we need now is Tether to shit the bed. God, Gary Gessler was just out. Oh, Gary, come on our, our show on uh, MSNBC. Gary, you were just talking about the uh, stable coins and uh, Terra Luna crapped the bed and now Tether has, uh, what's, what's this, you know, although is he going to mention Tether? You know, Tether's the club. But he's saying stable coins, they, they were worried about them. Again, if it's a part of the plan and they know Tether's going to blow up one day <clears throat> or implode, so to speak, then yeah, okay, go ahead. We it's imploded now. The the plan is in, in action. Go ahead, Gary. Do your interview. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, Tether crapped the bed, and Terra Luna. I mean, these are stable coins. You know, you know. Of course, the the government's now going to look into 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 Tether and uh, da da da. And we're you know. Next thing you know, we're going to find out they didn't have the money, and some no name people might go to jail or whistle blow and get a small sentence, two years in jail, probation. You know, for eighty billion dollars, eighty-three. Oh, excuse me, eighty-six. Now, eighty-six billion dollars worth of tether got someone a couple years of probation, twelve months. You know, they rig. They've been rigging the market. Yeah, we know. And I'm telling you the whole time. Yeah, it's rigged. And because it's rigged, do as they do. Do as they do. And and well, how do we know when they're going to do it? Exactly. It's hard to tell, isn't it? But I've got psychic friends. I've got my own psychic dreams now, and for all intents and purposes, my psychic dreams, with the kind of information that I've been receiving, is, like I'm sitting here going, how many people on the earth, literally billions of people, how many people on this earth can say I got these dreams with precise numbers of crypto, you know, prices? That, like the worst case scenario, when they hit, one was down, you know, $2 and something, I got 239 it got down to 231 for, you know, faster than you could have clicked your mouse button to do a buy order, it already bounced back, you know. 239 was the number I got, data. But they did show me four different $2 and something, one was like 250 one was 239 one was 220 something, like it was all these three, three or four different numbers of the gas prices, the premium, mid-grade, and I go, well, what's diesel? I need diesel, I'm in my diesel truck. Oh, that's 239 and I go, okay, that's the one. Like, that's the one. And that's why I did that, that post. And I go, I think it's this price. And we hit it. So I'm going, how many people on the face of the earth get a dream number over and over again, essentially, you know, m multiple times, different coins, and then it, it plays out. In, in defiance of every expert, market guy, chart guy, uh, Going, guys, we're going below $10. Theta's not staying double digits. Oh, come on, Joe. You're just mad because you sold Willow. Yeah, you paid your house off, but you sold a bunch of your data to do it. It's not going down that low again. You missed it. And then it got down to the price I sold at. I go, oh, look at that. I could buy it all back. You know, if I, if I had the sitting on the side, you know, it was actual trade, which it was. And it wasn't a trade. I, I used the money to pay the house off. I go, oh, look, there's the price that, I, that I, we got out at that you guys said we wouldn't even go to $10, much less $4.05. Which is where we did this one trade to, uh, to get out of it. But, and actually that, yeah, that was the last trade we did, I think. But I, to be fair, I was selling before that price. Because I had some set aside that I go, this is the house money that I promised my wife. Um, but I, so I had the trade bag, so I'm playing with the trade bag. And that was at 408. But I also had a, a chunk that I still have that I don't ever touch. It's just, I don't care what the market does, I don't care anything. That has to sit there. Because if I effed up everything else... I could still rely on that amount that when these things go back up, you know, uh, data goes back up, there's my super duper retirement thing. Like I still have that. So that's why it's just a, it's just a strict safe thing for me. You know, I can't gamble it even though my dreams are incredible, blah, 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 blah. You know, I can't. Now, uh, having said that, if spirit were to give me another dream where I, they sold me the price of theta higher, that would be a sell sign. Because every higher price they've given me, those price targets have also hit, and then the thing dumped down. So I go, wow, this is actionable intel they're giving me, on the low and the high. So if I did get a theta number, by the way, I would probably go ahead and say, you know what, let me grab some of that stash, <laughs> even though I shouldn't, and play this. And, um, you know, try to make something out of it. So, anyways, it's FUD day, double FUD day, triple FUD. And it's all on purpose. 
And simultaneously, we're sending another $40 billion, practically here shortly, to Ukraine. On top of the $33 billion, the $12 billion, this $3 billion, whatever, I don't even know. It's, it's so much. And being the money laundering capital of the world for the elite, um, allegedly, where did Wu Day dude say that all this money was going to flow into, and they were going to drop that's the they they the club would drop the price for their friends, and say, hey, this is you know we're going to do as best we can, this is it, uh, and then after that you're on your own, and all this money would absolutely flood into the crypto market. I'm just curious if any of those billions. I'm not saying they are. I'm just curious. I wonder if any of those tens of billions of dollars. Are, are currently or getting ready to get into the market. <clears throat> and again, 20 cent XRP, 21, 20, 408 Ethereum. Try and figure your own math between the two and see where the rest of these coins typically should be going based on that information. Again, worst case, we're dropping 80% from here. Best case, maybe, we're dropping... 50% most coins from here from current today's prices that would be digibyte which is currently 1.2 cents by the way that coin was 15 or 16 cents on its high uh, 1.2 cents would be half of a penny 0 0.06 digibyte how would you like that how would you like to buy some digi at six cents, uh, excuse me, half of a penny essentially, 0 .6, 0, 0 0.06. Bitcoin Cash, $110 would be from here, 50%. Um, again, Ethereum would be about 1100, 1100, but I saw 408, so that, that might be a one off. Maybe there's something with Ethereum that, you know, causes, you know, some bad news or something, you know, we would do seems to think there might be some issue with Ethereum and that the club, the banksters, are actually doing something with Ethereum and not XRP, like like a Bix thinks. It's actually Ethereum that's going to have a, a, a light cast on its shadow and everyone's going to go, oh, and he sent me this thing the other day, um, Wudu did, about how basically the SEC is really trying to cover for Ethereum. They don't want to present any information that they know they already have conversations emails about ethereum to ripple xrp regarding a lawsuit and they had to come up with something and, and it looked like within there they were purposely trying to avoid doing anything for ethereum like it like ethereum is off limits we're not going to mess with ethereum because it's like the boys the club has something to do with ethereum so the sec's you know going around everything ethereum pretending it's not there and they have conversations about this apparently or something so um we'll have to check into that but uh matic coin that i, I went pretty heavy in because of my dream again of the blasting off rocket thing and they gave me the drop at the time remember on the train that went by another thing that happened in the dream i see a certain train in real life just a little while later i see the same train i go oh my god there's something important about that 134 134 locomotive number are we dropping to a dollar 34 it's two dollars and 30 cents right now i think you know 228 230 no and i go well i better post this on patreon i don't normally do that because it's not a dream but it was part of the dream so i'm going to post it i did we dropped down to a dollar 43 dollar 40 again dollar 41 i think was the bottom at that time and then we rallied back up i think either to two or over two or almost two somewhere around there Again, spirit gives me these numbers. is a it's an actionable event, and I'm like, damn. So, we'll see where this goes, my friends. But I, you know, it's amazing that I'll be honest that I'm sitting here, <clears throat> and back in the day, you know, early on, I'd get emotional over this stuff. You know, you want you want twenty thirty percent green, not twenty thirty percent red. You know, and your stomach's stomach's in knots a little bit, and you're feeling kind of crappy. I come out there, you know, try to cheer you up, do a little song for you in my car or whatever. Take a little quick break from work. Let me go out there real quick and uh, do a video, guys. So listen, listen. This one's down 20%. That one's down 30. The other one's 18, 15. We know that one. That's 30%. I'm buying more of that. Just got hit the hardest, and then it would go up. Oh, it's up 20%. Bam. 
give me my money. So I'm just the voice of reason. Is it now a good time to buy? Honestly, yeah, it is. You could cost average down right now. Start feeding some orders in. See if we go down some more. Oh, it did. Feed some more. Oh, we went down some more. Feed some more. And that way, if it does start going back up, and this is the bottom, well, at least you got back in some, and you got a nice chunk back. <clears throat> but, again, with my dream, you know, are we? am I to think that this is just the bottom right now, and we're going to go way up, and then we're going to come down to 408 Ethereum and 20 cent XRP after going to, like, new all-time highs? I just doesn't, I can't wrap my head around that. So my thing is I think everything they gave me in these two different dreams may be playing out right now. And her woo-woo friends chart had mentioned something big with China, maybe maybe Iran too, but like a war or something. She goes, I, I don't know. Real big news with China, it's going to cause this. Like it happens right around the same time. And again, we're hearing lately again, Taiwan. Oh, they breached the space airspace of Taiwan. China did, da 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 and if that happens, maybe that's the event. And I'll, I'll remind you of one other thing. I think her name is Raven Scry that said this. Uh, she's on YouTube. She's a psychic. And this was like way last year. And she goes, yeah, I, I, I went ahead and sold. And everyone's yelling at her. And she's like, guys, guys. She does another video. Guys, guys, I, you know, I'm not I didn't tell you that you had to sell. I just said I, I'm selling because I got this, you know, information from Spirit. And people are like freaking out on her about it. Like, how stupid. But she goes, in, in one of these videos, she goes, yeah, there's this Jay Snip guy. I don't, I don't really know him, but I, I think he's on YouTube. And I, I have this, this spirit shows me him flying this airplane and hits some turbulence. Oh, down he goes. But then, oh, he recovers. He recovers. And it's generally, okay, we're good. And then, oh my God, we're crashing. He's going down and there's no recovery. Like, oh my God, look out. <clears throat> she goes, I, I, I'm selling. And again, I don't know if she said it in that video or the next one where she was talking about it. Of course, Bitcoin cash right now, two, 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 two hundred twenty two dollars and 76 cents. Um, so my question, let's look at real quick. I'll end this video. We'll go back to the daily. Uh, and again, I'm on, I'm on Bitcoin. Uh, <clears throat> it's December. Let's go back to the three day. How about that? Let's just kind of look at this. You know, it, this was the top. Again, we hit 68 right here. This is back in November. We've come down. We had a nice pull uh, drop back then. Remember that? 32. A little, little bit up. Again, there's my March thing where we had, where I got the, where I initially got the dream about the shit storm coming. And I thought the plane's going to go up and land, but then, oh my God, look out below. Right? So that's, I think, I can safely say now, I think anyways, this was the first part of the dream of it. Just, we didn't, we didn't go to the all-time high, but it was a nice rally from here. Again, the math from in here to in here, 22%. Well, if you cap capture the tops, 26, 27, right? Um, that's a nice rally. And then this happened. So my question is now, are we in, and this is from when? April first ish you know basically a little over a month is this the turbulence in her vision 34 percent down okay we're stabilizing we're stabilizing we're stabilizing yeah i think this is and then oh my god you know or, or maybe down here oh my god this is where we're going it's just a thought i had recently you know i, I remembered what she had said and again but my dream so i just Again, with everything the way it's happening right now, I just think maybe now, now is it. All, all we need now is, you know, maybe Tether to implode or China to do their thing. Because, you know, is China going to wait till the end of the year now? Like, I mean, you know, Russia's almost wrapping up from what I understand in Ukraine. Um, now's the opportune time for China while the U.S. is busy with the proxy war helping out Ukraine. Uh, maybe China should make their move. But again, I could make a case for the end of the year. Where Tether finally implodes, bringing the effing market down with it. Huge. But if Tether imploded, could it bring it down that far? 
from let's say back to the all-time high or even higher than the all-time highs down to 20 cent XRP 408 Ethereum well again there's 82 billion dollars in tether now granted that doesn't mean they own all of it if you're on an exchange and you have a, an account and you're playing in and out of tether which a lot of people do I tell my people not to because we don't trust it but that's the biggest trading pair out there so traders for sure are using tether but how much of that is regular traders and how much of the 80 this is weird see it's on coin it says 83 billion the other one said 86 billion maybe this isn't updated but of the 83 billion how much does does tether control to where they can move the markets the company bitfinex or ifinex or whatever um whatever company owns the damn thing um maybe they own 20 billion of it is that and they can certainly move the market with 20 billion dollars but is it enough to move it down to those kind of numbers again i i can't say i don't know but if tether starts shitting the bed where it's not worth a dollar and it crashes like terra luna and it's down to 30 cents and then 25 cents and then 20 cents all these people are going to be sitting in almost worthless dollars panicking to probably get buy crypto in, with the cheap 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 dollars because their dollar can't buy a dollar's worth of crypto anymore it can only buy 30 cents worth many of those people honestly i don't know that they would do that because they're gonna be like oh my god if i get out of this now i took a massive loss i could barely buy back crypto this is bullshit. I can't believe this happened to me. I'm going to file a lawsuit against the exchange or Tether or whoever, blah, blah, blah. And you're going to find out they didn't have the money. They don't have any money. You're not, you're getting pennies back in your class action lawsuit that takes, you know, five years to settle. Um, if the value of the main trading pair goes down to near zero, I mean, I'm just thinking, how could the rest of the market puke with it? because those values don't change exactly. As a matter of fact, you would think the opposite, right? If the regular US dollar goes down to 30 cents on the dollar, but you have stocks and shares worth whatever, typically the opposite happens. Those things become more valuable based on the dollar because it's the 30 cents on the dollar, not a dollar out of a dollar anymore. Um, you know, so assets would, you know, certain assets would just go way up in price. Um, so I don't know. I'm just trying to wrap my head around some of this and think of situations. So it's been an hour. You probably don't want to wait around an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up right now.